Okay? The key is as he's doing this, it's, it's, as as he pulls me in, boom, that's the time I want to step in and pop him and strike right under the jaw, right underneath his field of vision. A lot of people will say, um, palm strike right into the nose, and uh, yeah, that, that's a great shot if you land it. Um, but first we're going to clear a misconception that, that the whole thing of uh, palm strike into the nose, sending the bones into the brain and, and all the whole Hollywood myth crap is bullshit. It doesn't happen that way. If there's any truth to that, boxers would be dropping like flies. Okay? If I'm in the clinch here and we're working a, a close quarter boxing where you see two fighters in the middle of the ring, and all of a sudden one guy goes right underneath with the uppercut but misses the chin, pops his opponent right in the nose, technically he should be dead because I sent all the fragments of his nose bones into his brain. But if, uh, if, you, if you know anything about the human, basic human anatomy, there's no bones in the nose. It's just car cartilage. And also the brain stops at about here. Okay, the front, frontal lobe comes up to about the top part of the forehead. It doesn't drop down below the eyes. Okay, so uh, the only bone that you do have is the one connected here. You could shatter it, but the chances of jamming particles of it into the brain and killing you, well, you get the idea. Um, also, the nose is too specific a target for me to go and strike. If I go to strike and he flinches, and I pop him on the forehead, or I get a glancing blow, all I'm going to do is I'm going to piss this guy off. Okay? And I don't want to piss the guy off. So I want to finish the guy off, rather than piss him off. So I would go underneath his field of vision. As he pulls me in here, as he's pulling me in to do the jam punch this way, I would step underneath right here. As I do this, I would trap. So trap here, I'm shoving over here. As he pulls me in, trap here, come right up into the jawline like so. Okay? What I would do next would depend on what he would do next. And I would strike under here, and he can eye gouge your knee here, and he decided to go for a punch. My hand instinctively came up. Okay? So try to, as best as you can, improvise. <laughs>